Alhamdulillah, as I've been preparing myself uh, to join the Qalam Hajj group here in 2020, insha'Allah bi'idnillah, um, I've been talking to a lot of people about going for Hajj in the community. And I came across one particular concern, actually a lot of people had. And when you hear this, some folks might kind of brush it off or scoff or laugh or they might not think it's that big of a deal, but it's actually something I found that a lot of people were really concerned about, and it got me thinking, and I thought I'd share it with you all here today. One concern that a lot of people communicated was that we hear about Hajj, that you go there to the Kaaba and you cry and you beg Allah for forgiveness and mercy, and you have all your sins forgiven and all your du'as answered, and that you're doing tawaf and sa'i and you know, people are crying their eyes out and they're begging Allah for forgiveness and they're connecting to Allah. That people go for Hajj during the actual movements, the manasik, the rites and rituals of Hajj. And they go Arafah, which is al hajj Arafah, that's the main part of the Hajj. And people are out there, standing out there, arms stretched out to the sky, crying, you know, tears before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, pouring their hearts out to Allah. And it's so powerful and so emotional and people say it changed their lives. And every Everything changed that day, but the concern a lot of people communicated was that I'm not a very emotionally expressive person. I'm not a very, very kind of emotional kind of person. I, I don't remember the last time I just cried. I don't cry very easily. And I'm worried that if I go there and I don't feel emotionally overwhelmed and I don't start to cry and break down then I feel like maybe my hajj won't count. I, every picture I've ever seen of anybody making dua to hajj, they're crying. And they're like so overwhelmed emotionally and I'm not that kind of a person or I don't think I'm that kind of a person. I can't remember that happening to me. And if that doesn't happen, does that mean my hajj wasn't accepted? What do I do? And so I thought we, we can talk about this. Um, what I shared with them was that, number one, there are two kinds of realities for human beings. There are certain natural realities and then there are the spiritual realities. Natural realities, what that means is that if you are naturally a more kind of light-hearted person, you smile a lot, you talk to everybody, you're very outgoing, versus if your natural kind of reality is that you're a little bit more quiet, a little bit more contemplative, a little bit more reserved, so you're not constantly smiling and laughing and joking with everybody, not just talking to every person that walks by. You're not rude, but you're just not that kind of expressive as a person. And then there's a spiritual reality. Islam gives us it, what it demands of us is improvement in the realm of our spiritual realities. Be more conscious of God. Pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be honest. Be truthful. Have integrity. Have decency. Worship Allah. Follow the example of the Prophet ﷺ in your daily activities. How he was kind to people. How he was respectful of people. His modesty. His decency. Things like that. But it does not force us and it does not make demands of us. Islam does not make demands of us in terms of our natural realities. If I'm a more quiet person, Islam doesn't put the obligation on me that I have to just start talking more to strangers. That's not a part of Islam. If I'm a very, very expressive person where I talk to everybody that I see, Islam doesn't say you need to stop talking to so many people. But Islam does not make demands of us in, our, in the realm of our natural kind of realities, our personalities, if you will, our disposition. So keeping that in mind, somebody cries at the drop of a hat. You know, somebody's watching, a, 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 forget about a movie or a TV show, they watch a commercial and they start crying, right? There was this Honda commercial, I think it was, and I was talking to somebody, and he said he started crying while watching a Honda commercial. Um, again, I don't mean to laugh at the person, but you are watching a Honda commercial. Um, and a Honda commercial was enough to make a person cry. Sometimes somebody's favorite team wins a championship and they start to cry, which to me sounds ridiculous, but they're just very expressive as people, right? Some people can watch a cartoon and start crying. 
okay? Versus some people might not be that expressive where a real tragedy might occur and they're very concerned and they're very serious, but they might not have like that outpour of emotion right then and there publicly. So we don't need to put that burden on ourselves because Allah did not put that burden on us. And number two, if you're just worried about just being captivated by the moment, it's always hard to imagine how something feels before you actually experience it. It's hard to know how something feels before you actually experience it. So somebody rides a roller coaster and they're like, it's exhilarating. Now, when you look at it from a distance and you see the speed and the drop and all that, you're like, how is that fun? That seems like it's just gut wrenching. But you have an experience. And when you ride it, then you realize, okay, it was a little bit kind of, you know, you got a kind of white, you kind of white and ghost knuckled there for a little bit. But then all of a sudden, it was actually a lot of fun. So you never know what something's like until you've experienced it. And I can tell you one thing. If you, if you are sincere, you pray to Allah to make you sincere, to accept your hajj, and then you go for hajj, what you're going to end up realizing, what you're going to end up finding out, is that you will feel very captivated by the moment. And it will be a powerful moment that you will never, ever, ever forget for the rest of your lives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invite us all to hajj and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our hajj.